I'm Tema from the Teach to Learn Foundation, and this is the Geometry Review Series, Locus Edition. Now you're probably asking yourself, what exactly is a locus? Well, that's an excellent question. Well, a locus is defined as the point or set of points satisfying a condition, and for the purposes of geometry, you'll mostly have to find the locus of um, things that are a certain distance from other things. For example, you may be asked to find the, uh, the points that are a fixed distance away from a certain point. Okay, well here's your point. Imagine you're asked to find the locus of points exactly three meters away from this point. Well, you'd need to... So you'd also need to draw a line from that's the same distance, three meters, from every other direction. Every other direction. That means this way too, diagonal and also on this side and on the other side. So you'll find that the locus of points of a single point equidistant from a single point is actually a circle a circle with a radius of the distance that you were asked to find away from the point. For example, if you were asked to point the loc to find the locus of points three meters from a point, then it would be a circle with a radius of three meters. If you're asked to find the locus of points a fixed distance away from a straight line, a single straight line, then the locus of points would be, uh, for example, if you're finding the, uh, the points exactly three meters away from this line, it would be three meters on one side of the line, a straight line going on forever, and three meters on the other side of the line, the exact same thing straight line going on forever. Now this isn't uh, exactly to scale, but this distance would be 3 meters, and this distance would also be 3 meters, the distance between the uh, original line and the locus on the right side. You also may be asked to find the locus of points that is equidistant between two fixed points. Now, imagine that there is a line drawn between these two points from here to here. The locus of points between these two points would actually be the perpendicular bisector of that imaginary line between the two points, right here, because it's an equal distance from both points in any direction at all. You can find the locus of points equidistant between two parallel lines like so. You take your two parallel lines, they go on forever and never intersect even one time, and the locus of points between them would be right here. It would be between the two lines, exactly. So if the lines themselves, the parallel lines, are 3 meters away, then the locus is 1.5 meters away from this line and 1.5 meters away from this line. Now the locus of points between two intersecting lines is a little bit different. See. It is actually the angle bisector of the vertical angles formed here and here, and also the vertical angles formed here and here. So the locus here would be this line and this line. All right, and it's also an interesting point to keep in mind that um, the if the two intersecting lines you're trying to find the locus of points in between are the x and y axis, then the locus of points is actually going to be the line uh, y equals x and the line y equals negative. Alright, that's all you need to know about the locus, and now you're one step closer to becoming a geometry master, courtesy of Teach to Learn Foundation.